The federal bailout that saved Mitt Romney. Government document proves the candidate's mythology is just that. So Mitt Romney is running on this myth that he saved Bain and company, which was the consulting side of Bain Capital, which is the leverage buyout firm. Rolling Stone, through Freedom of Information request, found documents that prove that, in fact, he, Mitt Romney, is responsible for shifting to at least $10 million to the taxpayer through the FDIC, which owned one of the banks that was basically stiffed by Bain and company. And he stiffed them by a poison pill, threatening to blow up his company. When the FDIC went to Bain and company, they found that they only had an HP printer. And that was their only assets that the FDIC would inherit if they actually didn't agree to basically write down $10 million in debt that Bain owed to the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Company. Yeah, well, I mean, that's all J.P. Morgan has. They have a negative net worth of hundreds of billions of dollars. That's all the Federal Reserve have. All the kerfuffle about auditing the Federal Reserve is that when they open the vault and say, oh, where's our money? They're going to find a printer. When they open up Fort Knox and say, where's our gold? They're going to find a printer. <laughs> Over there, Lloyd Blank finds J.P. Morgan slash Goldman Sachs. They open up the vault and they say, oh, all we have is a printer. ECB, nothing but a printer. It's amazing that the company that makes printers, Hewlett Packard, is doing so poorly, considering the only thing that any of these companies have as a tangible asset is a printer. <laughs>